Hello friends. Today we are going to install D-Link DIR615 router for the internet connection. So today we are going to look how the router is configured uh, in as a router mode, uh, as an extender which is also called as a repeater and as an access point. So first we'll see how this router has to be configured. Uh, now in my scenario I already have an internet connection which is a dynamic connection basically there are three types of internet connection one is dynamic one is static and one is triple poe so currently i have a dynamic connection so let us see how we have we are going to install this router as a normal router okay in a router mode so uh, i have connected my laptop with a cable to this dir615 on LAN 4 okay you can connect to any one of the LAN port and the internet cable is connected to the WAN port okay so once we do that you need to open up a browser and you need to enter 192.168.0.1 which is a default IP address for this router so once you enter it you will get the wizard since this is the first time we are trying to configure the router so dear customer this is the first time the device is turned on please configure the device in order to use the internet services okay so you need to click on start maybe your language is english you can click on yes you can use advanced settings or continue the configuration so we are continuing the, with the configurations you can click on continue here you have to select the mode now if you just click on this arrow there are two options one is wired and one is Wi-Fi so whenever we are configuring as a router and as an access point you need to select wired connection okay so we are selecting wired connection click on router mode if you can see the work mode is router and access point there are two options we have which we are going to see in a later video so first we have to select router and then we have to click on next so once you click on next you will see number of internet connection types over here but we are interested in only one which is dynamic ipv4 because our connection is dynamic now in some cases the internet connection provides static ip address in that case you have to select static ip you have to enter the information given by your internet provider such as ip address subnet mask gateway and dns and then you have to click on next in similar way when the internet connection provide triple poe connection which is a username password so you need to select triple poe connection enter the username password which is given by your internet provider sometimes the internet provider also gives a service name which is not mandatory to enter it on the router but some internet service providers they have it mandatory so you need to enter the information provided by that and then you can click on next so in our scenario our connection is dynamic ipv4 so you need to select it and then you have to click on next so once you click on next you will get the wireless settings page wherein you can change the ssid and the password as you want so this is the ssid so i am keeping the dir615 i'm changing the uh, the ssid name and also i am changing the password now this password, this number is given at the back side of the D-Link router. So currently my laptop is connected using a LAN cable to the D-Link router. Now in case you do not have a LAN cable, then what you can do is you can connect your laptop wirelessly to the D-Link Wi-Fi name. Now that name will be appearing over here and you can see the D-Link by default network name which is DIR615 if you click on it and if you click on connect it will ask you the password now when it is asking for the password by default password will be this one okay so you need to enter that password and then you have to click on next so now I'm changing the password here I, I'm keeping a simple one you can set whatever you want no issues with that so one two three four five six zero seven eight nine zero okay so that's the password you need to select it and then click on next 
Now, is the IPTV connected? Now, here I do not have any uh, devices like this. So, you can click on next. Your VoIP phone, if you have the VoIP phone connected, you can click on select and then click on next. I do not have any. So, I'm just leaving it as it is. Now, in this here, this is the admin password which it is asking for. So, I'm setting the admin password as admin123. A-D-M-I-N 123. All right, then you can click on next. So once you click on next, you will be getting a summary wherein you can see the internet connection type, which is dynamic IPv4, Wi-Fi settings, that is Wi-Fi name and a password, the device model, that's DIR615, the software version, the serial number and the IP of the router, that's by default IP and which mode you, are, you have configured the router. So this is the login data which is username is this and password is admin123. If you click on this save configuration file, so whatever you are, whatever you have done on the router, whatever the settings you have done, uh, if you click on this save configuration file, it will be saved as a text document wherein you can see the uh, name, password and whatever the, uh, the information provided by you. Okay, so then you can click on apply. So once you click on apply, you just have to wait for some time. Let the router will reboot. And once the settings are done, just keep an eye on the D-Link router internet LED, which is the, uh, which looks like the, you know, the planet LED. Okay. There are three LEDs on the router. One is power, one is Wi-Fi, one is the internet. So the third one is the internet LED. So once the LED is on, okay, and it is blue. That means the internet should work through the router side. Okay. So let us just wait for some time. Let the settings save properly. And then we can check the internet connection. Alright, so once the settings are done, as I said, you will get a message connection with the internet is configured and it's ready to use. So you can click on finish. Once it is finished, you can check the status of your LAN card. So the IPv4 connectivity says internet. So that means internet should work and you should be able to access the internet. Okay. So you can just try to search anything. So, internet is connected and this is the IP address we are getting from the ISP side. Okay, and internet connected. That means the status is connected. You will be able to access the internet. Okay. So, in the next video, we will see how the router is configured as an access point uh, as well as uh, in a repeater mode. Okay. Thank you.